Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will take a look at two different topics that just launched today. The first one being Samsung One UI 8 Watch Beta Program is now available for sign up and download. As well as for the Galaxy S25 series, this is Samsung One UI 8 Beta 3 Update. Now when it comes down to the watch, in order for you to sign up and get this thing downloaded and installed, you want to go inside of your Samsung Members application. Now, once you're inside of the Samsung members application, normally they would put them as a banner on the very top, letting you know that there's a beta program to sign up for. Now, Samsung made it easy. They put a section right here that is called beta program and you tap on this. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to look at the phone that you have and also any connected devices on if there is any beta program you can join. So as you can see here, I've already joined it here for the Galaxy S25 series. On the very top, you can see Beta 3 was just launched today, June 30th, and here's what's new with it. And then for the next one, it's looking at my connected watch that I have and that there is a beta program that I can join. Now it states for the Watch 7 and the Ultra. Now when you tap on this right here, normally the first time you ever open it up, it'll have a different screen than this and it'll have a join button on the bottom. Now on this original screen, which I should have taken a screenshot of, it mentioned that One UI 8 Watch Beta Program is available for the Watch 7 for Bluetooth and T-Mobile only. And then when it comes down to the Ultra, which is what I have right here, it's for T-Mobile Ultra watches only. Now mine is not T-Mobile. I'm still gonna see if I can get it. And if not, that just means that I would have to charge my Watch 7 so this way I'd be able to get the Samsung One UI 8 watch beta program. So luckily I do have this additional one that I'm able to download this update to, but that is what I wanted to share with this video portion here is that when you go inside of your members application, if you own any of these two watches, it's gonna pop up right here that you have the opportunity to join if you would like. Now, once you have joined it, which it took about maybe 15 minutes for it to state that I have joined, after that, this is where you want to go inside of your uh, wearable application. You take a look at your Ultra or the Watch 7. You go down to your watch settings, scroll down. We'll take a look at the software watch update. We'll see if there's any type of update sitting here. I don't know if it'll show up just because mine is not T-Mobile. And that's what my thought was. So now I have to charge this one which is the Watch 7, so I'd be able to get this update here. But a lot of the stuff that you are getting with this update is learned right here in this Samsung Newsroom article that I shared uh, not too long ago. It was back on the 16th. It's talking about all of the newer features that is coming with Samsung One UI 8 Watch. So right here, the new features are part of One UI 8 Watch. Uh, as we scroll on down, this is some of the stuff that you'd be able to take a look at, which is bedtime guidance. So you'll have a whole guidance of letting you know when you should go to bed, when you should wake up, when you should start kind of cooling off and relaxing. Uh, this one is about your vascular load. Uh, you also have running coach and when it comes to this one it's for outside only it's it's pretty cool it's going to give you a bunch of details to help you do better and not overwork yourself so you'll have a coach keeping you up to a particular pace but if you're going a little bit too overboard it's going to state you know hey you could slow it down a little bit let's go at this pace here uh, here's your, your antioxidant index uh, scrolling on down then there's more and there's even more details down here if you like to read specifically more about these things and what's cool about it is that any time that you see something being talked about like the antioxidant index the vascular load that little asterisk that little smaller you know one two three four five if you tap on that number it'll take you directly to the bottom to give you those those smaller words giving you specific details on all of this so again as i mentioned since i can't put it on my ultra i now have to charge the watch 7 and more likely i'll be back talking about samsung one ui 8 watch but at least now you know that you can sign up and also where you can sign up and then how you can also update your watch to run Samsung One UI 8. So with the watch out of the way, now let's take a look at Samsung One UI 8 Beta 3 for the Galaxy S25 series. So there's been a few bugs that have been fixed. They fixed the overlap issue uh, between the status bar and the recent apps and running app menu and specific status of Navistar. They also fixed the issue that the keyboard input occur only when reboot on the security folder pin input screen. Uh, they improve the issue that intermittently lengthens loading time when entering mode or routine menu. They fix text input, swipe to text, error using gesture on keyboard screen. They fixed text input, the S Pen to text error with the S Pen. 
they added back uh, or added back screen preview to laboratory, software stabilization through updates to many applications and many other improvements. So there is a few Samsung applications and services that we will take a look at after this update is done just to see which new versions or which applications and services has been updated. Now, as my update is installing, there was one thing that I noticed, and this was within the last one or two days. I know I took a look back a few days ago trying to see if there was a newer version of the Google Play system update, and there wasn't, and I was on the April 1st patch. Now, out of nowhere, uh, maybe my phone restarted, I think on Saturday night, uh, and I didn't notice it until now, but May 1st, Google Play system update has been updated. So take a look at your Google Play system update inside of your software information screen and uh, try to see if you have a newer version there. Sometimes you have to tap on this and you have to update it like once or twice to get it to its latest you know, version. But again, just take a look at it because May 1st is now out for your Samsung phone. It's also at this point in time, I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy's Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now that the update is done and complete, let's take a look at a few applications and services. First off, when it comes down to Samsung One UI Home, the number used to end with 129. It now ends with 139. So you do have a newer version of Samsung One UI Home. Now we'll take a look at the camera. Before the update, it ended with the number of 25, and it now ends with the number of 33. So we do have a newer version of the Samsung camera. Then for Samsung Gallery, we'll take a look at this one. Before the update, it ended with the number of 33. It's now ending with number 37. So you do have a newer version of your uh, gallery. We'll also take a look at the lock screen. So heading over into the settings, Scrolling down, we'll take a look at the lock screen and always on display. Before the update, uh, this one was sitting at 8, 9, 10, 2. It is now 8, 9, 10, 13. So you have a newer version for lock screen. And now for secure folder, before the update, this one was sitting at 200044. It is now 20100. So you have a newer version for your secure folder. So everything else I took a look at, which is Samsung Home, your lock screen and always on display, the Samsung camera, the gallery, the secure folder, they all have brand new versions after this update here. Now you also wanna take a look inside of your Galaxy Store because sometimes after an update, there's applications that will show up or sometimes during that update, if you had some applications sitting in here, those will be updated automatically. Now here are three of them that were sitting there right before this update. So this one was probably all pushed out within the last couple days. So your Samsung Health Monitor, the Autofill, and Samsung Pass. So that is everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. I wanted to show you that you are able to sign up for the Samsung One UI 8 Watch Beta program. Again, it's just right inside of the Samsung Members application and it'll be a part of you know anything that you can sign up for inside of the beta program. It looks at your phone as well as your connected devices. Now remember, if you have the Watch 7, you are able to sign up if you have Bluetooth only or T-Mobile only. For the Ultra, it's only available for T-Mobile locked Ultra. So mine is Bluetooth, so I'm not able to sign up for it here, but I am charging my Watch 7 so I can download it and get it installed. And then I'll come back to you guys soon with some of those newer features, which again, I can place that link below the video inside the description of that article talking about the newer features that comes with Samsung One UI 8 watch. And then we covered everything for this beta three. If there is other changes or anything that is new that I need to show off, I will create another video for it. But right now I don't really see anything just yet because I also just updated it, but there is a lot of brand new versions of Samsung applications and services when it comes down to beta three. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.